what's up guys love tofu here bringing you guys more clash royale content uh before i start this video you know i want to just say happy new years to everybody and hope you guys enjoy this new content that i am gonna try to put out as frequently as needed <clears throat> now i'm not gonna like maybe i'll do some like entertaining videos but this time we're gonna do another guide um, slash sharing a deck so I just went ahead and just put this deck together um, uh, I got this inspiration from like um, from Ash um, Clash Royale Ash um, he did this Electro Wizard with the graveyard and I saw like the potential of the graveyard it's such a such a strong strong card even for five elixir it's um i mean it's like you can almost have direct damage onto the field on the enemy side it's kind of like a miner it's like you can spawn them anywhere you want and that's like a huge advantage it's a really huge advantage and the reason why i'm sharing this deck is because i finally got to legend i did lose a couple of times um it's definitely hard competing with everybody and i think i need to do some minor adjustments like um i might need to add um some tomb uh, another defense other than tombstone let's go ahead and look at this loss right here um this is exactly what i'm talking about uh he has like dark prince he has the double prince <laughs> sorry guys and then he has the pekka um obviously the tombstone's really good against the pekka but then with the dark prince the double prince is kind of hard to counter with just a tombstone um i mean tombstone is still good either way tombstone is the answer but just one building is not going to be the answer for all of them he's just going to keep coming at me you'll see that in this video so uh i might have to switch out the uh the minions because this splash damage is really really screwing me over but i do have the archers so i might replace the minions with some skeleton army maybe I feel like that might be the better um, option there. I'm taking quite a bit of damage right there. Um, definitely my my fault. I, I thought even if I did put the tombstone, I would have still taken quite a bit of damage. So I felt like the archer and the mega minion was more appropriate there. But he took a huge chunk of my health. Um, I mean, you know, close to 2,000. That's that's really big successful push for him. And on top of that, he has the pump, so he has another advantage, the elixir advantage, which is bad. And then he has a wizard, you know, to counter the tombstone. This is really, really looking bad, guys, on my part. I'm spending a lot of elixir. My minion died. I used the tombstone with the arrow. That's nine. And he's using the P.E.K.K.A. with that, so that's 11. But still, I take in, like, over a thousand damage on that left tower. So either way, it's a win for him. I have no answer for the Dark Prince other than the Fireball. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, I mean, I did make some mistakes, but I feel like I need some more defense, some more reliable defense. Maybe, I don't know, maybe another building, but I feel like one building is more than enough. Um, I'm really, I'm really like leaning towards the Skeleton Army most likely <laughs> but i mean regardless i mean you can't win all your matches you know so he does something really nice with the fire spirit that just completely destroys my uh my minion and then the prince takes out both of my archers um here's like a panic fucking skeleton or uh, the graveyard um shit's not flying it's not flying at all uh, Dark Prince with the Ice Wizard just completely shuts it down. And then he puts down a fucking wizard. Um, I'm just getting destroyed here. Like, literally, yeah, we're losing pretty bad. Um, hopefully, I was going for that right turret. I should have went for the right turret instead of the left one for the, for the graveyard push. I kind of fucked up. Um going for it but then i think i have like a level six fireball so and then i tried arrow in time and then i missed it i mean it was a very close game don't get me wrong it was a pretty close game i i don't feel like he played 
um, to his best in my part. But I made some mistakes. We both made mistakes. But I think there could be some improvement in this deck. Definitely some improvements. Um, let's look at the the battle that got me into uh, that got me into Legend. So this was the final battle. I was at 2,996, I think, somewhere around there. Just like you know, a couple more trophies. Um, it was extremely frustrating. You know, I just kept kept going up. I was like close to 3,000, and then I lost again. Win again, and I lost again. But um, so I'm versing the Lava Hound. Um, Lava Hound is like a 50-50. Like if they counter your Lava Hound better. You know, then clearly they're gonna win. Okay, and the reason why I like the arrow better than the zap is because of that, of, of the minion horde. I switched it out for the zap once because of the Inferno Tower and Sparkies. I don't know, I, I went against like two Sparkies at a time. I, I don't know why. So, but overall, sorry about the lag. Um, this device is pretty bad with the Wi Fi. <laughs> so, overall, I feel like. The arrow is um, definitely more appropriate um, in the current meta. I mean, you just have a wider range. And then minion hordes are just going to die. Minions are going to die. Does more damage than Zap. Alright, he, he does something really great here. I should have not put down the archers. I fucked up. I felt like I, I should have just arrowed. And then I should have put down the archers. Um, would have been a whole different story. I would have done a lot more damage. On that push so that was my mistake you guys could learn the thing is once you put down the lava hound and once you start a push try to reserve some of some of your um, mana elixir for the spells um, that's what I usually do but sometimes you know like you know you get really nervous and like this is a, such a crucial battle so you know I'm trying to like build up my push and I fucked up there you know, the minions are way too fucking fast. Uh, I really kind of hate the minions in a way. They really don't work out sometimes. But his baby is doing some work though. Um, definitely giving him an advantage here. Uh, this is going to be a tower right here. This is going to be a tower. Uh, I fireballed, but mm, it was a little late. It was a little late. I could have prevented some damage. But either way, the arrow fireball really helped out. <clears throat> it did. I mean, see, if I had a zap, then I would have probably lost the tower right there. Like, you know, most likely I would have lost the tower. I mean, yeah, I think so. Um, minions just getting destroyed by the fireball. Even if I put the arrow, uh, archers, it would have been the same thing. So um, go ahead and arrow there so I can keep it alive. Alright, and then this right here, I'm just going to fireball it. I know it's not a positive elixir trade, but, you know, it's keeping me alive. Um, at this point of the trophy, I feel like one trophy, I mean one tower, one crown is definitely more than enough. Like, I usually, once I got their tower, I'll start playing defense. And then once I have enough elixir, I'll go ahead and put down a lava hound. Um, and then they're going to be busy defending that. But the you know, only time you ever put down a Lava Hound is when you have max elixir. You're just going to put it down. Um, other than that, just continue to defend. And I mean, even if the Lava Hound's going by itself, don't support it. Just don't support it and let it go. Um, I definitely like this move the best. Splitting the Archer is definitely my favorite opening. It's a, it's a very safe opening, you know, no matter what they do. Um, he's playing really smart, you know. He's making sure that... His push is going to get in, even though he has a little bit of elixir disadvantage. But for him, it doesn't matter. I go ahead and arrow that. The tombstone for the giant, but he puts on lumberjack. Does a pretty good job taking out the tombstone. Um, lucky for me, Ice Wizard is targeting the Mega Minion. Really nice. Really nice. We went ahead and took out the giant. This is going to be a huge counter push for us. But unfortunately, he's going to put down the wizard. That's just going to completely destroy our push. Um, unnecessary fireball there, I feel like. Uh, I really feel like he didn't need a fireball in that situation. Kind of was a waste of elixir, in my opinion. But um, you can tell this guy has some really high-ass level. 
Uh, level 8 giant is fucking no joke. Okay. Um, wizard is about to fucking die. I panic. I should have arrowed earlier. But, you know, the skeletons are doing some work on that level 8 giant. Alright. And then I put down the minion because I need to hurry up and take it out before I took more damage. Alright. It's continuing to lag, but please, please forgive me. Um, I mean, I'm not going to usually... Uh, record on this device. Most of the time I'm going to be doing it on my main. Um, Lumberjack coming down with fucking Elite Barbarian. That's a fucking tower. That's a fucking tower. Um, I fireballed. Probably the best thing to do. I mean, it's not going to prevent it, but at least it's going to minimize the damage I'm going to receive on my crown. On my main tower. Okay, so I'm just going to take the hits. I'm going to take the hits. And this is what I'm talking about. If I had Skeleton Army, then it might have went better. It might have went a little bit better. Maybe. Maybe. Then, you know, it would have bought me time to put down maybe the Tombstone. But yeah, this is this is really, this is huge right here. This is huge. I should have arrowed this a lot earlier, but then um, I was just too busy defending. But either way, the Ice Wizard's not doing jack shit to the Lava Hound. Um, I don't know why he put down fucking uh, Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard, I feel like, is such a great defensive card, but it's just way too, way too weak. So it's good at, like, preventing, slowing them, but it's not really good at killing them. So, I mean, it's a decent answer to the Lava Hound, but, you know. And then that's, that's basically game right there. Um, he made some really big mistakes. Um, so don't be discouraged by the high level guys. Like, even if they have an extremely high level, you guys can just obviously outplay the guy. I mean, look at this guy's level. He has like level 4 skeleton army, 10 elite barbs, and then he had level 8 rares all over the board. Log with lumberjack and ice wizard. It's some crazy shit, right? It's some crazy shit. Um, I know you guys are going to say like, um, you guys can go ahead and look at my history. So I know you guys are going to say that, oh, well, this thing has two legendaries. How the fuck am I going to play this? I don't have these legendaries. But, you know, I'm just sharing the deck, guys. And I feel like Legendary is uh, extremely necessary into reaching Legend. Um, I mean, it's just so much cheaper because uh, leveling up your rares to level 7 is extremely time-consuming. Um, yeah, and also, you know, it puts some strain on the gold, but not as much. Not as much. I feel like you can still manage if you're, if you're good with your gold. But it just takes way too much time. So you can see right here, I was quite successful in uh, the 2700 range. I just kept winning, kept winning nonstop. Um, so yeah, like you look at this, level 8 royal, level 10, I mean level 10 royal giants. Look at 10 commons and then a level 5 witch. Like, uh, and I just ended up destroying this guy. Um, very, very strong deck. And he took down my turret. It's a 2-1. I think he tur tur took it out pretty early. So, I mean, the comeback potential is really, really high. If you guys are already in Legend, and if you guys ever get a graveyard in the shop, I highly, highly advise you guys to buy it. Um, it's really a great card. It showed up in my shop, and I just didn't buy it because I didn't wait. Uh, I didn't want to waste 40000 but I definitely kind of regret it in my part. All right, so I'll, I'll show you guys the deck one last time. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys are enjoying the new content, Clash Royale. I'm hoping to put more out this year. Um, please give me some more support. Um, leave some comments below. Um, dislike it. I mean, if it's bad, then please dislike it. And uh, feel free to criticize me and how I can improve the videos. And tell me what you guys like and what you don't like. And also, I hope you guys like the new background. I'm just switching it around. Tell me what you guys prefer. I definitely like this background. It's kind of different from the the blue. There's just a little. There's too much blue in Clash Royale. Way too much blue. So I'm kind of getting sick of that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.